Welcome back to A Single Sister Salvation. This is episode number two. On the last episode, first episode, our first pilot, we talked about being renewed in your mind. We talked about being a single woman, but being preoccupied with a married man, and that not being God's position for you. In Romans 12, it says, I beseech you, brother, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies, your bodies, your bodies, as living, breathing sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto him, which is the least you can do, and be not conformed to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Just because somebody sold you a lie doesn't mean you have to buy a lie and invest in a lie and keep it and take it home with you. You can take it back and exchange it, for the truth is in God's word. I would like to bring you guys back on the scene after our workout. Ladies, y'all do love today. Yeah. Wow, you yeah. Did that, girl. You did that. Yeah. You did that, girl. Yeah. You did that, girl. Yeah. You did that, girl. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm so proud of y'all. You know what? Yeah. I really, really like the way that you lost that five pounds when I was yeah. in the other day. All right. And, you know, I mean, you just grind and grind and grind and grow. You was a 16, you know, now you know God just kind of just really doing something great in your yeah. life. Yeah. And, um, Angela, you know, you busted it up today, too. Oh, yeah. You know that now with that, that ball with I was praying. together because they have to decide what they're going to do with the house, but they're not sleeping together. 
He stays in the basement. He has a finished basement. And she stays upstairs. They're not sleeping together because we, we talked about all that. There's too many things out there, too many diseases. And so, no, no. And um, he just has a few more things to tuck loose in to tie up. And then, it, you know, he'll be moving out. I <laughs>
you to ask yourself that question. What if God really has a husband, a custom-made husband for you? Or he just has a custom-made blessing, but Tyrone, whoever he is, is blocking your blessing and messing up your life and causing you to be broke and busted and disgusted because you have settled and sold out for something less than God's very best. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I, I had a girlfriend that was dating a married man for 13 years, and and she just just was broken down whenever he just kind of stepped out of the picture because he felt like he wanted to get back with his wife and make things right, you know. And she well, was just dating for 13 years. I mean, he's been worshiping over like within the. But you know what? Life. You know what, Crystal? Those 13 years started off with dating him like a day. Two days, two weeks, a month. And you have been dating kind of long for like a month. Maybe a month next Thursday. Well, a month again, I just want to let you know, I personally believe that the relationship with God will be Christ, that you're better than that. I just want to let you know that you're better than that, that there's no loneliness in Jesus Christ. There's no loneliness in the Word of God. The loneliness is created has been in the activity of the mind. It has not been transformed. We're in the world, but not of the world. And you've listened to foolishness long enough. Enough foolishness to tell you so. If somebody else is husband, but I hate waking up by myself. And I got to do my Jesus says in, in Matthew 28, he closes Matthew 28 with this. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And the reason that you feel that way is because you don't love him about you. You're not preoccupied with him. I'm not. I go to church every Sunday. Can you believe the word?
praise of Nazareth for a single woman's salvation. Hallelujah! 